Alright, so this is a little demo that shows you how to do two operations with bar and button. It also shows a little bit about the binding layer. Okay, so we have a page that has a department table and we want to enable a delete on this page or on this table. So what we're going to do is going to create here a new toolbar. Okay. And then we can just go to the data control, look up our view object and underneath it we'll see operations. So we can take the operation called delete, drag it into the toolbar as a button. Okay. Now if we press this button, uh, the record would be deleted but not committed into the database. So there's two options here. One is that we can actually go and pick up the operation called commit and drag it as a, another button on the page. The other one is going to be done without having another button on the page. So we basically want this button to do two operations. So what do we need to do? We need to switch to the binding tab. Right. Here we can see the delete operation and what we are going to do is we are going to add another operation. Okay, so we are adding another binding and this is going to be an action binding. And then we are going to choose the action. Now if you w would have wanted to do some other operation on the uh, department view for example, you could have expanded, uh, basically chosen this um, view object and choose some of the other operations. Right? In our case we want to do an operation which is at the application module level here it is, the commit or rollback, so we're going to pick the commit and click OK. Alright, so we got the operation, know that there is an ID to this operation uh, and it's commit, right? It's relevant in a minute you'll see well. Back in the design mode, we're going to double click the delete button and this will allow us to override the default behavior. We're going to create a new backing bin, we call it backing untitled one, that's a good name for this um, backing bin. Put it in the backing package and click OK. Then we can define a method, so let's call it the delete action method. And the important part is to keep this checkbox which actually generates the ADF binding code for this button. So let's look at what code was generated for me. You can see that there's a code here that basically um, invokes the delete operation. So we get the pointer to this delete operation and then we execute it and then we check uh, the value. So what we need to do is basically replicate this piece of code okay, and this time invoke the commit operation. So instead of delete we're going to use commit. Now this is the ID that I mentioned before so this needs to be the same. Um, this one is already defined so I'm just going to do the first thing which is to replace those occurrences with the number 2 in here. Right. So we got one operation, delete, and then the other one, commit. Let's save everything okay, and run our page. So while we're running it, let me show you that if I run this SQL right now, okay, there's a department number 555 in my database. Right. Now let's see our page. So here's our page and we can see the department 555 in here and our button. So let's press our button. And okay, it's gone. Now let's just verify that it's not in the database anymore just by simply running this query again. Hmm. Oh, it's still there. Let's verify what we did wrong. Uh, yeah, we invoked the delete operation twice. So we actually want this one to be number two as well. Save. Let's rerun our page. Okay, so here's our page. Click the department, click the delete button, switch over to JDeveloper, run the SQL statement one more time. <laughs> 